So we're aware we going on our neighborhood tour today. Well, I've got my Timmy's. I'm ready to go. Jump in the vehicle. Come on along with us. Lower Sackville is a vibrant bedroom community of Halifax, Dartmouth. It's located 18 kilometers from downtown Dartmouth, 27 kilometers from downtown Halifax. So Lower Sackville in 1996 was amalgamated into the Halifax County Regional Municipality. It's made up of 13 districts and it has seen substantial growth over the last 20 years. Prior to 1996, Lower Sackville was Halifax County, and this is where you came when you wanted to go to the drive-in theater or for the harness racing. So for a lot of us who grew up in Lower Sackville, we love the area. You know, we're not ready to go into that detached home yet or semi-detached home, but you know what? Condos have made their way to Lower Sackville, and you can get into a condo for an average of about $350,000. If you're ready to downsize and give up all the yard work, but you want to stay in Lower Sackville, well, condo works for that too. along the old Sackville Road, it was all farmland. And the homes along here, some of them range anywhere from 70 to 120 years old. And they range price-wise, depending on the updates, anywhere from $250,000 to $450,000. In 2003-2004, the Nova Scotia government invested $26.5 million to expand the Cobequid Health Centre to service the needs for the people of Lower Sackville and all the surrounding communities. From swimming to skating to fitness, the Sackville Sports Stadium offers any type of recreation or fitness you can think of for your family members and also services the Northwood Senior Daycare Facility. So when making a family move, education is a key factor in that decision. And Lower Sackville offers five different elementary schools, three junior highs and Sackville High School. Lower Sackville offers all the amenities and the shopping you need. Along the main route, all the major retailers are there. But in the First Lake area, in the past few years, Sobeys opened up a store. Now this was originally in the 1970s built as an IGA store. So you don't even have to go back out to the main drag as we call it to do your shopping east of Sackville Drive in the late 1950s and early 60s gave rise to a lot of suburban bungalows and two stories being built and depending on the renovations you can pick these homes up anywhere today from 399 to 489 Throughout the 70s, the area around First Lake was developed with a combination of townhouses, semi-detached homes, and split-entry homes. You can get into the townhouses, 250 to 399, and the split-entry homes, anywhere from 399 to 529, depending on the updates and whether or not they've added garages or not. Sackville also runs along the Cobblecook Road and in the 1980s gave way along this area for a lot of little crescents and courts where semi-detached homes were built and these homes today can be purchased for anywhere from three twenty-five dollars to $400,000 depending on renovations. So as in any area near Halifax Dartmouth, Lower Sackville does offer lakefront living with two good sized lakes, First and Second Lake. And lakefront homes in this area range anywhere from $650 and up. Well there you have it, Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. I hope you enjoyed our neighborhood tour today on the Halifax Real Estate Channel. If you enjoy all things real estate and Halifax, hit the subscribe button and make my day.